Metaphor for the madness. Remember what happened in New York City a few months ago? Seven migrants viciously attacked cops right in the heart of Times Square. The cops were trying to break up uh, a group that was there. And some of them were in court yesterday. All but one of them was offered a plea deal, okay? This has got a lot of people pissed. One of the accused cop beaters who was out on bail was arrested again last Friday after allegedly trying to steal some clothes and merch at Macy's. He was charged petty larceny uh, and criminal possession of stolen property related, both misdemeanors, set free again the next day. So offering these guys plea deals, does that satisfy justice? Okay, let's bring in attorney, former FBI special agent, Stu Kaplan. Uh, Stu, it's good to see you, brother, as always. First of all, the main problem is the one guy is like uh, a, a metaphor for the rotisserie system, right? He's, he gets involved with a cop. <laughs> they let him out. He breaks, another, <laughs> breaks the law again. Um, and the judge was yelling at him pretty good. But let's start there. That's the problem, right? You, you don't stop people doing small crimes. It's only a matter of time before they do bigger ones, right? That is correct. I mean, these individuals have, have shown a total disrespect to the criminal justice system. And certainly anybody who's willing uh, to assault a uniformed police officer or police officers certainly poses a greater risk to you and I. And so, you know, just to cut right to the issue, though, plea offers, plea negotiations, that in and of itself is not unusual. In fact, right. that's very typical. Uh, Keep in mind, they're being offered, or some of them are being offered what's considered in New York State a D felony. They can be punished up to seven years. Personally, I don't think seven years is enough to punish these individuals. But again, the prosecutors have to weigh and measure the evidence, and they got to be sure that they can prove that these cops were injured. Now, cuts, you know, bruises, cuts and scrapes are not typically considered uh, injuring a police officer. I know that kind of sounds ironic. That usually falls within, you know, resisting with violence. And so, you know, two years, um, does it inflame or concern uh, or, you know, upset us? Yes. But if you leave out the legalities of their status or their lack of status here in the United States, uh, it's not outside the realm of what potentially would be offered in a case like this. You know what I want the audience to know right now? Sometimes when you come on, Stu, I'll get comments afterwards about like, you know, wow, Stu really has very strong politics that come out in his argumentation. And I said, yeah, well, that's why I have him on. I want you guys to be intru you know, kind of exposed to fulsome perspectives. That was a very measured thing that Stu just told you. He could very easily jump up and down and say, a deal? What are you, crazy? You don't give people like this a deal. But your explanation of why, because you don't know, you may lose the case. You know, uh, cops, it, it, you know, it's a higher bar uh, with them. So that's not what bothers you about this situation. Not, not at all. I mean, look, two years is two years in state prison. Again, it's a lesser why not included. Just deport I think him? the offer is... Well, you know, and there again, unfortunately, New York City or New York State does not have the authority to force the federal government uh, to, you know, detain and, and remove these uh, individuals. And, and quite frankly, that's what should happen. In fact, look, Chris, this is not a political statement. I would be somewhat upset with respect to having to house and feed right. these individuals for a year or two. Right. Let's just put them on a plane and send them back to their country of origin and call it, call it a day. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.